In Mozambique's civil war, hospitals became places of murder. The dead filled their verandas. Mass graves were dug. Today, the dead are still remembered. Almost 20 years since the war ended, the Hospital of Death promotes maternal health while the main killers in the area are malaria and AIDS. We have problems with most common disease such as the malaria, tuberculosis and HIV AIDS. The numbers uh, that we resist uh, nowadays are very high. For example, uh, talking about malaria, in the first semester we had uh, 15 thousand cases of malaria, of confirmed malaria. HIV, nowadays we have in our hospital, we attend in our hospital, 4,000 patients. Some of the refuse of the war is still hidden. It has taken time to clear the landmines. It is a work still in progress. The demining was uh, extremely important uh, immediately after the signing of the peace agreement simply to secure access to access to land, access to communities, to uh, make it possible for people to remove to their home areas, uh, refugees, uh, people being uh, uh, internal refugees, uh, to start living a normal life. So I think uh, that has been a very important contribution in terms of securing the peace and securing stability. Children can now play in areas where they previously were landmines. Electricity lights up towns that previously were dark. The country is experiencing strong economic growth, driven by gas and coal extraction. The government has more capacity to protect fisheries and other natural resources, thanks to development assistance. On the surface, Mozambique appears idyllic, but increased poverty and unemployment creates new tensions. When we, we, we move around, the, the country seems to be, to be stable, but the, the potential of conflict, the, the insatisfaction of, of people, the loss of expectations, yeah, the, all the lose of, uh, of faith on, on nice times, on, on good lives, which can come tomorrow, is, is there. And now, again comparing to 1994-94, we have now 39 universities graduating thousands of students every year and no job. Yeah, so we have, in 94 we had some thousands of people coming from the military sites. Now we have thousands of intellectual people. Yeah, so the, the risk is there. Yet, the dividends of peace are still real. There was no laughter in the streets of Inyambam during the war. Children carried guns. Today, the children swim in the bay. Tourists flock to the sandy beaches. And on city day, there is a dance of peace in the streets of Inyambang.